Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily crypto market update and we will figure out is it bull or bear market trend what's going on with the crypto world today. Let's move to trading view. Let's move to trading view and do... Let's start from uh, crypto heat map. Crypto heat map, it looks like it's a red, right? Like it's a lot of red, a lot of gray, it's a flat, very limited green most of them red looks like it's a bearish right let's go to charts and we will do review if you want to learn more about trading view setup just go to the description there is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings let me show you yeah for swing trading i'm using day 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 time frame and four hours time frame for entry and exit position Bitcoin as of now it's like today it's May 29 Monday uh, minus half percent Bitcoin cash flat Ethereum half percent minus other Cardano minus one and a quarter percent one percent minus it looks like it's a reversal right let's let's start it's like bearish reversal let's see what's going on yesterday was Let's start from Bitcoin daily time frame. Before before start, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages. This is SMA 200 white line, yellow line SMA 100. I'm sorry, yellow line SMA 20. Red line SMA 10 and, and green line SMA 5. MACD indicator green line bullish, red line bearish, white line signal line. Hey, Kanachi bars green bars bullish, red bars bearish, and a yellow line is this, it's a RSI line. Very simple setup. It's not easy because emotions involved, but if you follow the indicators, indicators do not have emotions, and you will be successful. Just trust your indicators. Don't don't trust your emotions. Okay, uh, yesterday daily time frame, daily time frame for Bitcoin. Yesterday it was very powerful bull bull run right it's a, it was five percent up four and a half percent up bar it definitely was overbought yesterday but on daily still kind of positive still positive bullish crossover bullish trend on daily time frame for bitcoin let's move to four hours time frame four hours time frame you see it was disconnected far last bar was like three hours like three bars ago it was very disconnected from 20 now it's trying to come back and connect to five at least to five because it was disconnected from five from 10 from 20 and at least now we did ma5 did bullish crossover it is positive sign bullish crossover is a positive at least it, it came up from the bearish territory now it's about bull about 200 it is more positive territory MACD is still green. RSI was an overbought territory in this case. You see this level? It was overbought territory. And definitely it wants to have some correction from overbought territory. Looks like now we are in a correction mode. For last three bars, they did correction. It's kind of reversal, but still bullish trend in the bullish territory. All indicators. Let's move to one hour time frame. One hour time frame definitely in the bearish reversal signal. Sell signal by the script. MA5 did bearish crossover. It was, you see, this bar was very far from 20. Very far. What it did, it did connect it back to 20. Almost connected to 20. Will it touch my 20 and will bounce? It's possible it can touch 20 and bounce. If it uh, if it's going to do bearish crossover over 20, it will be bearish trend. Because remember, my simple trading style, very simple, right? When bars above all moving averages and MA20 uptrend, it's a bullish trend. When bars below MA20 and MA20 yellow line downtrend, it's a bearish trend. Very simple. Now, bars above 20, it is bullish. But they below MA5 and 10, MA5 below 10, it's a bearish crossover but full confirmation when bars below 20 and MA and moving averages MA5 and 10 below 20 it's a fully bearish confirmation like here you see when it was here it was still bullish but when it changed direction bars moved below 20 and MA5 and 10 below, below 20 it was what full bull bearish confirmation and bearish reversal signal Similar can happen 
here. But so far, we still about 20, it's still positive. But bullish, bearish reversal signal already. RSI, Heikonachi, MACD, all bearish on one hour time frame. Now let's move to Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash, one hour time frame. It was also overbought on RSI. It had some corrections, sell signal by the script. MA5 did bearish crossover and recently did two hours ago, we did bullish crossover back to bullish trade trend. MACD did change color from green to red. Heikonachi was red and to change to, to green. Still bullish trend, like I said before. Uh, bars and MA5 and 10 about 20. It is bullish trend. MA20 uptrend. It is bullish trend direction on one hour time frame for Bitcoin Cash. Four hours time frame. It is also bullish. The bars close about 200. But still bullish, all moving averages still below 200, but uptrend direction. Bullish trend on all indicators, RSI in overbought territory, MACD bullish. And let's check daily time frame. Daily time frame buy signal, MA5 ready for bullish crossover, still bearish territory below 200. MACD did bullish crossover, Heikonachi did bullish crossover over I can actually change color to green. I decided bullish crossover. It's a bullish re reversal signal. Bullish reversal signal. Bullish crossover on daily time frame for Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash positive on all time frames. Let's see Ethereum. Ethereum daily time frame. Last bar above all moving averages. MA5 did bullish crossover over 20. Bullish trend. Previous bar was very strong, four and, four, four and a quarter percent up, very bullish. Yesterday it was very powerful, very bullish. MACD green bullish, Heikonachi bullish, all indicators bullish on daily time frame for Ethereum. Let's move to four hours time frame. Like I said, previous bar was very, yeah, last four bars ago it was very powerful, last three bars. It is, looks like in a reversal signal. It's trying to connect back to 5. Because it was disconnected from 5, from 10, from 20. Now it's only disconnected from 5 and 10. From 10 and 20. It's connected back to, to 5. Still bullish trend. Are in the overbought territory. Bullish trend on Heikonachi also. One hour time frame. It's a bearish reversal. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10. Bearish reversal signal on MACD. On Heikonachi, on RSI, all indicators bearish reversal, similar situation, right? It was very overbought in this case. This bar was very far from 20, far overbought on the RSI, and now it wants to have correction. It, it wants in a correction mode. Now it's in a correction mode on one hour time frame. Ethereum Classic on one hour time frame also in the bearish reversal signal even worse. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20 bars moved below 20. Bearish crossover on MACD on Heikonachi on RSI. Bearish reversal signal on and 20 you see MA20 like I said when bars uptrend above 20 and 20 is uptrend it's a bullish trend. When 20 Bars below 20 and 20 downtrend, it's a bearish trend. But so far it's a flat, right? Like here. You see, 20 was flat. When it's flat, it can go to both directions. can continue to go up and can continue to go down. But when bars below 20, it is negative, it is bearish. Let's move to 4 hours time frame. 4 hours is still bullish, right? It did touch 4 bars ago, 3 by 3 by 4 bars ago, it did touch 200. And it was rejected from 200. Was rejected from 200. And last three bars, it's negative. Still kind of moving average is still positive uptrend in the bearish territory. MACD is still green, still positive. Heikonachi is still green, still positive. RSI was an overbought territory. And now it's trying to have some correction on 4 hours time frame. Daily time frame. Let's see daily time frame. It is still bullish. Bullish crossover, MACD, Heikonachi, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and last bar moved about 20. It is bullish, bullish crossover. 
in the bullish reversal signal. Bullish reversal signal still in the bearish territory below 200, but in the bullish reversal signal. Uh, let's move to. Okay, it's yeah. Let's move to Cardano Ada. Cardano Ada daily time frame, same situation. Bullish crossover and May 5 did bullish crossover over 10, last bar above all moving averages. It is positive bullish. Yesterday it was very powerful, also 4.5% uptrend direction. MACD did uh, bull green bullish, Haikanaichi green bullish, RSI bullish. It's not over bad like other cryptos, but it was very bullish, still in the bullish territory. Let's see 4 hours time frame. 4 hours time frame, it did move about 200 and now it's kind of wants to have some correction, but still positive, still bullish. MA5 and 10 did bullish crossover. RSI, MACD bullish, still green. Uh, Heikonach is still green. RSI was in overbought territory and now it looks like it, it's in normal in the bullish territory, was reverse, reversed. Still bullish trend on 4 hours time frame for Ada Cardano. On 1 hour time frame it's different, it just did bearish reversal. Sell signal, MA5 did bearish crossover and last bar closed below, below 20, below yellow line. MACD red, Heikonach red. Uh, RSI in the bearish territory. All indicators bearish on one hour time frame for Ada Cardano. Let's do summary. Let's do summary. All crypto they had yesterday they had very bullish day, very bullish spike. Uh, today they are still bullish. They all yeah all crypto from my watch list they are still bullish on daily time frame. But uh, on 4 hours time frame, they're also positive bullish. But on 1 hour time frame, they all did bearish reversal signal. 4 hours time frame, they're still bullish. Only on 4 hours time frame, they all did bearish reversal. In the bearish reversal signal, be careful. This bull run can be bull trap. But so far, that correction is, is normal process. One hour time frame correction, yeah, just keep stop tight if you're bullish, just to make sure you save your profit. One hour time frame already gave us bearish reversal signal. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. And remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper trading account. Thank you. Please read it. Thank you for watching Simple Training Style video. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel. Click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.